Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 3.08 p.m. here on the East Coast. Uh, we've got uh, just a little less than, uh, or a little more than 50 minutes, I guess, um, in trading left, but it seems as though we are done for the day. EIA reported a draw just like API did. It was not uh, quite as large as API reported, but it was bigger than what EIA was expected to report. Um, so yeah, still definitely bullish, and yet we've dropped. Um, we've dropped from a high of 55.22, um, unbelievably. So we're basically off a dollar from the highs. Um, but we're actually only closing about 10 cents um, below yesterday's uh, close. So it's, it's bearish, it's bullish, I don't know, take your pick. Um, I had a uh, buy order to uh, add to my short positions at uh, 55.10, but of course, as is typical with me, I missed it by one penny where we hit 55.09, and I never got my uh, short buy. So then when we started to drop, I miraculously was patient um, not to buy long too quickly, and I actually, when we cracked below $54, I was looking at putting in a buy order at, uh, for a long position at $53.75, thinking that we would actually get that low. And of course, um, once I kind of motioned towards my order page with my broker, um, we started to bounce back up. Um, so I didn't get that either. Uh, yeah, so it's a little bit frustrating. I'm not getting the plays that I wanted to get. Um, I did kind of call some of the plays correctly. It's just I never got the opportunity to execute. Um, where we are right now, kind of 54.27-ish, I've got basically two options I could, or three options I suppose. I could do nothing. I could then just hold on to my shorts. I could sell at one short position for break even in hopes of repositioning it, assuming we go back up. Um, and if we do go back up, I'm looking at you know 54.75 ish to repurchase that short position. Um, I could buy a long position if I think we're going to get up closer to 55. Um, or like I said, I could just do nothing and hold on to my shorts and, and hope that we get below 54 dollars again. Um, and I've decided that maybe it's partially due to my frustration today, but I'm just going to wait and see. Um, for better or worse, I'm just going to hang on to my short positions and, well, hope. Hope that we get down below 54 again and creates an opportunity for me to buy a better position long and uh, potentially get out of more than just one short position, um, even if it's for break even. But uh, where we are right now, it's just not all that attractive to do anything. So I'm, I'm just going to wait. How did you guys do? Did you manage to call this play right? Um, were you gutsy enough to buy well below the day's highs and not as greedy as I apparently was? Let me know in the comments down below or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, performance, etc, etc. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys um, ahead of trading tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.